Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, also bettingangle.us. Let's talk about week four of the NFL with an understanding that longtime subscribers here know I favor the futures market over the week to week markets. I believe the math heavily favors the futures market as you can get quality teams like the Cowboys before their win last night over the Giants at 25 to 1. Right? And of course, futures players understand your team doesn't have to win it all for you to be able to hedge a futures position and make a lot of money. But for this video, we're looking at week four in particular. We're playing the week to week here. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, the first game I like, we're taking a dog on a point spread. But I expect this dog to win outright. And that's the Cleveland Browns. You're getting a point and a half right now. They're playing Vegas in Vegas. The Browns have been awful. I'm not going to pull the punch here. Right? In three games, the Browns have yet to reach 18 first downs in any of the three games. Two of those games were at home. Right? Let me point out the one game the Browns won was on the road against Jacksonville. But the Browns, to me, have, even with the injuries on their offensive line, they just have the significantly more talent than the Raiders. Browns made the playoffs last year. The Browns have, at least on paper, one of the league's dominant defenses. Right? Deshaun Watson, who's had problems, is a three-time pro bowler. Vegas, by contrast, Max Crosby's banged up. Um, I believe the secondary of the Browns should be able to take Devontae Adams out of the game. Um, the Raiders don't have a starting quarterback who's been to three Pro Bowls. I think the Browns have more talent. I'm going to overlook the non-performance of the team. Understand, too, the Raiders are coming off a loss to the Carolina Panthers. Right? I like the Browns getting a point and a half against the Raiders. The Browns, of course, will be on the road. The next game, I like the over 42. Seems like a low number to me. In the Saints versus Atlanta Falcon game. Right, folks? The Falcons have an offensive line. Drake London, remember that name is rapidly turning into one of the league's better wide receivers. The Falcons played at home last week. This is their second straight home game. Right? The offense has been missing in action, but understand, they beat Philly. Right? They came back in that game. That game was in Philly. Right? I believe Atlanta has a shot to win their division. I believe they're going to put up some points against the Saints. The over-under of 42 to me is too low for this game. I'm expecting Atlanta's offense to show up, right? The Saints, of course, have reconfigured many things. Derek Carr looks great. Alvin Kamara has looked great. Uh, I'm expecting the Saint offense to show up. I'm expecting this game to go over 42 points. Finally, the last game. You have a very high over-under here, a 50. I think the game goes over 50. It's Washington, the Commanders, with Jaden Daniels, who, believe it or not, is not only, in my eyes, the best young quarterback to come out of this year's draft, right? And I don't blame the Bears for taking Caleb. Caleb's excellent. Right, Daniels is a little bit old for a rookie. We understand that. But understand, this is the guy who moves extremely well and who can actually pass the ball. You're talking about an outsized talent. You're talking about an offense that two weeks ago clicked. 
but they couldn't get the ball in the end zone. Right? They were moving the ball, but there were a lot of field goals in that game. Last week, they got the ball in the end zone. The team scored over 30. I believe the Commanders are going up against one of the most surprising teams in my eyes this year. The Arizona Cardinals. Folks, the Cardinal offense looks like a juggernaut. Marvin Harrison Jr. looks like a future pro bowler. The problem with Kyler Murray is high variance. Sometimes he doesn't look to me like he's that good a quarterback. Other times he's throwing the ball all over the field and he's very hard for a defense to find in the pocket. I'm expecting points to be scored here. I like the over 50 in the Commander versus Cardinal game, which is taking place in Arizona. Those are my thoughts. To sum up, Browns plus one and a half, the over 42 in the Saints-Falcon game, and the over 50 in the Washington-Arizona game. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.